a one, two, three. We are not live. We are not live, but we are alive, Gary. Hello, lovely Gary. Hello, Rachel. Hello, darling. Hello, lovely YouTuber. How are you today? I hope that you're well. Today, we are going to be making napkins into something far more interesting. I'm hoping for a swan myself, but I think maybe that's a little bit ambitious, but we are going to be napkin folding and making your Christmas table or your breakfast table, your Easter table, whatever table, a little bit more interesting. Now, of course, as always, if you would like to skip ahead and go straight to the napkin folding, if you can't wait to make that napkin into a swan, <laughs> I'm over gilding it there. Um, then you can go straight to the exercise because I will put the timing codes below for you. But if you would like to stick with us, Gary and I are going to have a little mindful chat as we always do. And you might just learn something because I learned something new this week. And before you go, you know what I'm going to say. Please give us a thumbs up. Ding, ding, ding. If you could subscribe to the channel, if you could hit the bell, if you could do all that you could do that costs you nothing except a little bit of kindness from your heart, we would love it because it does actually help us get into the algorithm. And we have such lovely comments. And I think, well, if Michelle likes what we do then maybe Barbara would like what we do but Barbara doesn't see us because naughty old YouTube keep us down in the basement somewhere I don't know why Gary how very dare they um, but we are rising up the ranks slowly so if you could do that for us that would be lovely anyway if you're off I hope you have a lovely time doing some napkin folding you see they're going into the future now Gary is not that exciting they're now seeing it before I'm seeing it if they were pressing right now but they're not because it's in a few days anyway I'm complicated the matters lovely Gary how are you my love <laughs> I'm fine thank you Rachel I am okay um people say that don't they say are you all right have you got everything done yet are you ready are you ready I have to say that actually I like the preparation I have to secretly say it, a bit more than I actually like the day Yes. The prep, I like the choosing of the gifts or the making of the gifts, going through, writing cards, maybe remembering people that perhaps you haven't spoken to all year, but you always send them a Christmas card. And I love that, the prep. The day itself and the, maybe our next day, the Boxing Day, it's, it's good, it's fine, but actually my focus is on the prep and enjoying the prep. And but what you just said has reminded me of something that I saw on Instagram a couple of days ago. Instead of getting stressed about all these things and saying, oh, I have to. Now, they equated it to I have to exercise. I have to watch my diet. I have to whatever. You know, I have to do all these stressful things. What you need to be saying instead is I get to exercise. I get to look at my diet. I get to make choices for myself. You know, I and, and, and instead of I have to, it's that I get to. And the way I read that, Gary, was I think it's what you're saying there about trying to experience the joy in things, whether it's just little things or big things. Mm -hmm. But I think also as well, for me, it had a deeper meaning in terms of like, I get the chance to do that. Do you know why? Because I'm alive. It's like that Sia song, I'm alive, you know, and that's very true because one day you won't be here and you won't have the chance to do that exercise. You won't have the chance to do that Christmas wrapping. You won't have the chance to write all those Christmas cards. So actually, we should say, I, I get the chance to sit down and write these cards now. I get the chance to experience this thing called life and experience that joy. And that's the way you have to look at it. I know, I know, I know it's difficult. I know it's stressful, but it's all about the, the mind um, flip. In fact, I saw an Oprah Winfrey quote and she said, it's incredible how just a change of mind can change your life. And I think that is so true. Yes, all the problems are gonna be there, but if you approach them in a different way, you know, then things will change. And I can honestly say it's true because I've had that in the last couple of weeks that I had some major problems. I was running away from them. I actually faced them, had some conversations, and now I feel so much better. You know, it's being present while you work through those things. So we are working through Christmas. We are preparing and working through, but it's about being present in the moment. And, you know, as you wrap that present, you are concentrating on doing that. You're not just like, I've got to get it done. I've got to get it done. And because we're just working towards that big day and I've got so much to do. No, be present now. But, you know, just be present in the present while you're wrapping the present <laughs> because it's all the present. Well, talking about enjoying the moment, the moment has come, Gary. Now, when Gary said, what mindful exercise shall we do? I know I've got a great idea. 
we could fold napkins. I'm sure you said make them into swans at one point, or maybe I just dreamt that, Gary. Um, but that's because Gary used to be in the catering industry. Mm. Yes, he did. So he's I learned did. all these things. Make it sound like you were working for the Queen if you were making swans from napkins. <laughs> <Gary. laughs> that's definitely to make as well. I'm telling you, there's not a swan on the menu today. Well, um, they yeah. are endangered, so thank goodness for that. <laughs> It's funny because, um, yeah, we, I mean, my parents run a hotel. And so I was always, I was brought up in that hotel industry. And for a while, a very short while, actually, when I look at the grand scheme of things of my life, it was a moment that I did actually work in industry. I did work in the kitchen. I was, I did my training and everything like that. And one of those bits of training was 101 ways to fold a napkin. Okay. So I thought, you know, I'll show, we'll talk about a table setting. And, um, and I'm sure a lot of you out there, you set your table beautifully and it'd be lovely to see your table setting take a photograph of it put it up on our um any of our social media pages tag gary mills designs in or crafty monkeys in and we will get to see it and it'd be lovely all right so a napkin so i'm going to use linen napkins so i'm going to bring in a linen napkin in fact i might just move my um my crockery out the, uh, my cutlery out the way for the moment so i've got space so that you can see me setting this up okay so you can do this you can do um, napkin folding with um fabric napkin so this is a linen napkin and it's been starched and it's been starched to actually be nice and stiff so i can get some nice folds into this and um if you um you've got some linen napkins and you've washed them many times and they're not sort of starched anymore you can buy starch um powdered starch that you can put into um the final rinse and then rinse it in the starch, then dry them, then press them. But you can buy just spray starch. So you dry it, once it's dried, you can just spray starch this all over, leave it to settle in. So I tend to starch all my napkins, fold them up, leave them on the end of the iron bowl, go and make myself a cup of tea, let the starch soak in, and then I press them with a hot iron um, and then just leave them to dry. I haven't pressed any creases, so I've not folded this up at the moment. It's got no fold creases in it. So it's quite nice. And if it feels quite um, almost a bit like paper, really. Now, if you haven't got any um, linen napkins, you could use a really nice paper napkin as well. Paper napkins actually really make your life easier because they're so much easier to fold. So if you enjoy origami, you're going to enjoy napkin folding because it is basically it's just like origami, but maybe not quite as complicated as that. So the first one I thought we'd make, we'd just make. Actually, we're going to just do a napkin fold that actually you could use at any dinner party, any luncheon party, anything like that. Really quite easy to do. And I've just taken the full square napkin. So my napkins are all square. So they're all nice and square, not oblong or anything like that. It's a complete square. And I'm just going to fold it top to bottom and I'm just going to fold it down like that. OK, so I'm just going to fold it down. So it's all sort of level, as best level as possible. And I'm just going to crease it with my fingers across the top up there, like so. And now what I'm going to do is imagine sort of like you've got a middle point here, and I'm just going to take that down to there. So imagine my middle point down to there. So, But I'm not creasing. I'm not creasing this because this is not a flat uh, napkin fold. This will actually stand up on itself. And then I'm going to take this over, and I'm lining up. So imagine it's now square. What I'm looking at, so I've got that point there. I'm looking at this corner here, and I'm just taking it to that corner over there. So all the corners are like so. I'm then going to turn it like this. I'm going to turn it round. And it comes now, it becomes like a cone. So it's become like a sort of a, like a, like a traffic cone in a way. So it's like a cone. So it's pointed up here. Can you see that's pointed at the top there? And it's wrapped around all these pieces here are all joining together. And then I'm just going to fold that up and around like so. And then I can stand that up. And that becomes a beautiful, just a cone that then I can bring my cutlery back in. If I've got a charger plate, it could sit on the charger plate. So it could sit in the start on the the plate i will just tilt that to the side so you can see what it actually looks like so it looks like that okay so that's the way it looks like that how have you got on with that one rachel how is that well, looking for you well as you know we did that origami on the channel a while ago so when you mentioned that 
the fear of yes went through me because I am rubbish at origami. Uh, but okay. I've done it. Not, not bad, as they not would bad. say on the generation game. <laughs> that is not bad at all. Uh, we want to try and get a bit more of a coat, like a real point up here at the top. So I'll just what I'll do is I'll just I'll just show you. Hang on. So let me unravel. It might help you, Rachel, if you just fold, actually just fold into a quarters and just give yourself a little bit of a, a little mark at the top so you know where exactly that is. Yeah. OK, like that. So you can see I've not permanently creased it down here, but I've got a little mark on the top that goes exactly like that. That's it to right angles. That's it. Yeah. So you've got the top, you can just like pinch the top and then that wraps around. And it's down at this point down here on the bottom left that yeah. you're just then going to catch. Yeah. And then, then you can then just hold it up like so. So that just stays. That's not bad, that's better. You're gonna get that closed as best oh. as possible. Keep, <laughs> <laughs> Keep wrapping that round. Okay, yeah, right, I've got it. I've yeah, got it. yeah, yeah, that's it. And then flip, the, top, then flip the bottom then up, flip that's the it. Up. There we go. Like this. And then it sits like that. Yeah, that is a better. Lovely. Um, you can let almost like let the corner, let the left hand corner flip out because that's like almost like a sail. So it does. The yeah. idea is that it doesn't have to wrap around that it is. This piece here does actually flap out. So it's like a sail. It looks yeah. like a sail. It's a cone with a sail to the side. I like it. OK. Yeah. Right. OK. That's that's one. That's one out the way. Yeah. Okay. All right, next one. A bit more festive, this one. I'm going to grab another napkin. But you can still use the napkin you've got. As long as right. you haven't put loads of really hard creases in it, that's fine. I've got yeah. a whole... Right, so back to the same... So back to the napkin. This time, we're going to fold it in half. We're going to fold it in half that way. Crease. Yeah. Then fold it in quarters again. So fold it that way and crease. Yeah. Got that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So where those crease sides are, what I want you to do is I want you just to put it like that for the moment. Can you see you've got all these like little flappy bits here? You should have one, two, yeah. three, four like that. Yes. Okay. Got that? Yeah. So this first, the first layer, I want you to take that down, not right to the bottom. Can you see I've, I've given yourself a bit of a, almost yeah. like a little bit of a bit like that. Can you see that? That's it. And crease nicely crease the top like that yeah then take this one and you're going to do almost like the same distance you're creasing yeah. like that and crease across yeah then the next one a little bit further up eyeballing it making sure you've got a nice even distance crease across yeah and then the third then the last one again like that yeah and crease across okay right Yes. Okay with that. Yeah. Now, carefully, just, and it probably makes your life easier if you just swivel around like that. Just swivel it around. Okay. Carefully yeah. swivel. So it's face, so you've got that facing upwards. Okay. Right now, what we've got to do is create a triangle. So imagine again, imagine the half up here, and you're going to bend that under, like so, and you're going yes. to bend the other side under, like so. Yes. So that it looks like that. even. Yeah. Got that? Yes. Does that look like that? Does it look, have you got a nice point at the top? I have to keep watching your points. <laughs> I haven't got a nice point. Why haven't, yeah, I, nice. why haven't I got a point? So if I look at the back, it's folded over like that at the back. Maybe so this one is one that, this is a napkin fold that's going to lay flat on the plate. So if I start again, so you've done it like that, Rachel. It's okay, now I've got it, got it like in there. I've got a point now, I've got a point. I've got a point. You've got a point now, right. Yep. Hurrah, yep. we've got a point. There you are. Yep. Okay. And then all these little these little pieces all run down through the centre, don't they? Yes. That's it. Okay. Now we're going to tuck each one of those up. So I'm going to take the first one and I'm just going to tuck that little point up. Yeah. Right across. So I've got, can you see that? So it just goes straight yep. across like that. Yeah. Then I'm going to do the next one and I'm going to cut that. Tuck that up so it goes straight across. Yeah. And then I'm going to tuck the next one so it goes straight across. Yeah. And then the next one, straight across. And then I'm going to just tuck that underneath like so, like that. Yeah. There you are. And there you are. And that makes a little tiny Christmas tree 
to I sit in. It. And again, I've seen this done with lovely green napkins. So if you've got a green napkin, obviously that's going to really stand out really well. But, you know, you could do it with just your white napkin. And then that's lovely, Rachel. Lovely. You could obviously you can neaten your, your lengths up a little bit just around the side. And then you can look for little tiny little decorations and ornaments. I mean, that's why I've got these little like cut out bits. So you could have them sort of tucked in amongst the. Like the napkin, like so you can find these little bits and pieces and just anything that you might have, you might scatter a little bit of. Um, um, you know, you might put some like little stars or something over it or something like that. So you could do that. So that's really an easy little decoration what are you looking for rachel i can well, see <laughs> i know i've got some little stars somewhere but i don't know where gary i don't know where oh, oh i should have yes. i should have told you that's what you need so something just find little bits of decoration i mean i love little decorative bits around the table anyway so yes. just think what you could find it doesn't even have to be like these little cut out bits you could just i mean the table just really nice just with a bit of scattered like natural foliage on the table that can look really really quite nice as well so again you can decorate it like that and put that okay. to one side okay right let's put this all to one side again so my final one it's got all sorts it can be um it can be a central um napkin fold or it can be actually something that you can put things in so You've got your glass. Sometimes a glass by the side of you is quite useful. Now, do you remember? I don't know. Did you ever do those like do those fortune teller things when we were at school, when we used to fold up bits of paper and we could yes. like this, this, this. and then yeah. we would say so and so loves you or so. Yeah. so <laughs> do you remember those? OK, right. So remember, to, if you take that basic skill, it's slightly different, but it's taken from that. We're going to fold into just into four to start with. So we're just going to start with four because we need a crease. Of four we need those four creases okay. like so and then open up so you can see one two three four and these are the bit the points where we add in so this will look probably familiar to you so we take a corner and we just take the corner into the center like that each corner yeah. and this is how we used to start off those do you remember we used to start off those fortune teller little things Beauty. we used to make bring it all back you now i think mine was always Will I be rich and famous? One, two, three, four. And I always said yes. So it was a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not rich or famous, guys. In infamous. <laughs> <laughs> Poor and infamous. Okay. Right. So we folded it in like that. Now, if we were doing it before, what we would do is we'd flip it over and then do that again. But we're not doing that yet. What we're going to do is one more fold again. So we're going to now take these corners. And we're yeah. going to fold those into the middle. So we're going to just go round again, yeah. making sure that we really use our fingers to really crease these napkins. So we're creasing cloth napkins for this. But this is something that really would work really nice with a paper napkin as well. So yeah. it's something you could make. Stop making little envelope. <laughs> it is. And then turn that over. Yeah. That top bit. OK, so we've got all of that yeah. really nicely like so yeah. now careful because you're going to flip it over so you don't want to lose all your nice so you're going to just hold it with your hand flip it over like flipping an omelette over like yeah. so okay so you can still see the four creases so last time we're going to now just move now we're going to just move these in and we're just going to push them in again so we're doing that one more time but this time we're just doing it with all the layers on the other side but again you've got to be really nice and strong with nice strong creases like so and linen's got it's quite bouncy linen so it tries to come undone so you can keep your you can use your finger and keep your finger there for the next maneuver or what you do is you take your wine glass and you just put your wine glass in the middle like that okay, okay. got your glass in the middle now Pushing the wine glass down, what you've got to do is you've got to come underneath and you're just going to pull um, the corner. So this corner, this corner here, first of all, just come round and just pull that back on itself. So just pull that like that. Can you see how oh, I take that? Oh, this up? is fancy schmancy. This is fancy schmancy. It is. OK, so you're just going to go to each corner and just slightly pull it out. 
I just pull it out to begin with just a little bit. So I'm just put almost looks like a bit like a fortune cookie in a way. So I'm just pulling it out a little bit, keeping that's why the glass helps because the glass is just helping yes, you just yes, keep that. Help that glass. Yeah. Like that. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to take the glass away for a minute. So you, everyone can see where we've got to. All yeah. right. Yeah. Put the glass back just to hold it all in place. Now you're, if you go in between here, like yeah. down underneath, you'll find there is another, what I would say, a petal to come out. Can you see that yes. petal? Yes. Pull that petal up gently. Oh, this is just magical. <laughs> and pull that up gently. Hi. Pull that up gently. And pull that up gently. Wow. Okay. Okay. So if I show you it, you can use this. So this is called a water lily. So a water lily encapsulates something. So you could use it. What you could do, that could be around your base of your glass over here to the side. So you could keep the glass in there and it could have the wine glass in there. You can carefully take the wine glass out and it can sit in the middle where you you put your setting. But another thing you can use it for, it becomes a container. So if you've got you want to put little nibbles around the table, what you can do is then put some nice sweeties or some you might be something savoury in there. And then you can just fill it with some savouries and then that can go as a little sort of either in front or it can go to the side. So there's always little let me bring that all into play. So there's some little little nibbles and things in there for you to have. So there we go. And then you can still have your, your Christmas decoration in the middle. You could, these could be in different colors. So you could have white, you could have green in there, different bits of pieces like that. There you go. Okay, I'll bring mine in now. I'm actually, you know, I think I may have surpassed your napkin folding. <laughs> yes. I do. <laughs> oh, look. Look at that. That is so pretty. That Isn't is that nice? That is yeah. a beauty. <laughs> I absolutely love that. I mean, this is a huge napkin that I use. It's giant. It is. But, but you know, you, what you fabulous. Put, if you've got a big, like a big, like you've used a bigger napkin, you could always just place a, a, a lovely little bowl inside of it as well. And it's a really nice, if you're going to have, maybe you're going to serve dessert, then the dessert, if you've made a really big one, then your bowl, your small bowl could just fit inside your water lily like that. That's nice. Now I wouldn't, so what I wouldn't do is I wouldn't light a candle in there. No. <laughs> but, no. but you could have anything. So you can, it can contain sweets, um, little mints on the table. It, you know, I've even seen these made out of paper napkins and you can make a paper one and you could just put a few peanuts or some pretzels or something like that in there yes, as well. So they work quite nice to hold them. So imagine if you just... were serving if you were serving like a little pudding in a glass or something, imagine you could you could put your pudding in the middle there, couldn't you? I mean, yeah. You can't see it from the side, but it does actually look really, really pretty. I think it's so yes. <laughs> oh, uh... Wow. OK. Is okay. that it? Are we finished our folding? We are. But I've given you three. Now, online, yeah. there are loads that you can look for. So hopefully this is inspiring you to think, ah, it's another thing to think like, oh, I don't need no more to think about as Christmas. But actually, as I said at the beginning, it's about the preparation. So enjoy the folding. Remember that um, origami and all that folding is just a mindful practice. And if you spend a little bit of time, just give yourself a bit of time the evening before or something, just having a little play with some of your napkins. As I said, it doesn't have to be linen napkins. They could be paper napkins and you could really, really have some fun. Or why don't you ask all your guests around the table to have a go and fold their napkin with you? So you could have a plain, everyone's given a plain napkin and then you start the dinner off with, let's have a play with some napkin folds. So it's entirely down to you, really. That's nice that to be. So <laughs> nice. Mm. Really do. That's fantastic. Well, do you know, that has also almost surpassed one of my favourite ever YouTubes that I did with you, which we'll be talking Ooh. about in another Tea Time tutorial when we do yeah. our top fives, which was the marble, tray marble thing. Um, that's such fun. And that, I, I absolutely love that. It's so pretty, that little flower. It's so good. I love it. <laughs> and, and I'm now just going to tell you a very quick story, by the way, if anybody's made it to the end of this um, YouTube, when you were talking about the cutlery. So basically, yes. short, in short, 
I, when I got married, I had a wedding planner. That sounds very grand. The only reason I approached this woman on the internet was because I had no money. <laughs> and I said to her, look, I can't afford to use a wedding planner, but I just wondered if you could help me find a venue and I'll just give you, you know, a couple of hundred quid or something to help me find a venue because all these hotels are charging 40,000 pounds, you know, and I'm like, I, I just don't have that money. In the end, I don't I don't think she ever made a business out of it because, I mean, she did so much work for me and got paid very little. I, well, not that I was asking her to do more. She just kept doing it. Anyway, she was called Sarah Sineasy. I don't know what ever happened to her, but she was a lovely lady. Anyway, at the end of the um, the wedding and everything, I said, look, come to my house for dinner. I'd love to have you. So she came to house and we had this cutlery and it is nice. It was from Heels. Um, so, you know, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't like, you know, pound shop. It's quite nice. And it, oh, it feels quite sort of heavy in your hands. Yeah. Yeah. So she, um, you know, was sat there and she, and she said, oh, this is, this feels nice cutlery. And I said, yes, it's, you know, it's from Heels, you know, it's very nice. Feeling quite proud of myself that I had some nice cutlery on the table. And then it was only when she um, was talking later about one of her friends and that she'd been to her wedding. And that friend was Sophie, uh, Sophie that married Prince Edward. And, and she had been to a royal wedding and I said to her I'm thinking they didn't give you heels color at the royal wedding and she's like no it was it was very it was very very nice so uh yes yeah, so, I put did put my heels color into shame um but yeah can you imagine can you imagine she wouldn't tell me any more about it I was like oh give me no she, I can't tell you anything but uh mm-hmm. yes it, she actually she was very good friends with her so uh in from school I think so they they she had gone to a, a royal wedding how amazing I bet the Queen does think, well, sadly the Queen doesn't do anything now. Oh, I was watching The Crown last night, Gary. It's really sad. I was like, oh, I loved Queenie. But I bet they have things like that on their tables, don't they? In Sandringham. They will. Yeah. Anyway, lovely, Gary. That was fantastic. And and you know something? I think we might go viral with that one. We might go viral because that is brilliant <laughs> napkin folding. Um, so thank you so much, lovely, Gary. And thank you to you, Eugene. Okay. And I do hope that you will try some of these things out. And I especially like what you said at the end there, Gary, about it being mindful. So put on your Christmas tunes the night before. I always do my table the night before. Night before, put on your Christmas tunes and do your folding and just imagine the lovely time that you're going to have. And, you know, and like we said last last time, it doesn't matter if there aren't 22 dishes, it doesn't matter if something gets burnt, it doesn't um, matter. It's about the company and it's about, you know, if you're cooking for people, they will be pleased that you are doing it for them. So anyway, have yourself a lovely festive season. And if you're watching this in June, have yourself a lovely barbecue and make these big barbecues. <laughs> <laughs> Right, we will see you next time on our Tea Time tutorial. Thank you so much, Gary, and everybody for watching. Drop us a like, that would be great. Okay, bye. Bye. (laughs)